speaking out in support of 44-year-old Brad Young. He is the Hilliard father of five who was struck by a car while riding his bike. The driver left him for dead along the side of the road. Reward, new clue, and new appeal from the public. Hilliard police are offering a $1,000 reward for information into that hit and run that happened along Dublin Road on Labor Day weekend. They also have confirmed it was a gray car that hit Young. A witness called 911 right after it happened. I cannot believe that they left him. He took off like a bat out of hell. That caller then jumped into action to help save the life of this father of five. Uh, Ted Chuck morning. Sprickler spoke exclusively with this good Samaritan. Well, Jerry, a road to recovery benefit is just getting underway here at the BW Three's restaurant off of Bethel Road tonight on the northwest side of Columbus. Proceeds from the benefit tonight put on by the Young's church family will go toward medical bills and other expenses incurred over the last month since this hit-and-run crash. Today, I had the chance to talk to that good Samaritan who was the first to come to Brad Young's aid that morning and help save his life. Well, I just thought something fell off the back of a uh, truck in front of me, um, but as I got closer and saw that it was a person, it was very scary. I mean, I started shaking, and I'm, you know, kicking to, you know, nursing mode. Kim Wise was returning home after working her overnight nursing shift, just a few hundred yards behind the car that struck Brad Young on Dublin Road a few minutes before 8 o'clock the Sunday morning of Labor Day weekend. I heard the impact and then saw, you know, saw him go flying through the air after he hit the car um, and, you know, land on his head in the street and his helmet that he was wearing, which, thank goodness he was wearing, because I think that's what really saved his life, totally exploded on impact. I mean, it blew into a million pieces. She immediately stopped her car in the southbound lane, blocking traffic, and called 911. And he was face down, so, you know, I immediately dove right in and, you know, grabbed his neck to make sure that if he, he was unconscious, of course, but when, you know, if he happened to gain consciousness that he didn't move his neck and I didn't want him to be paralyzed, so, you know, all that's running through my head. Kim stayed by Brad's side until paramedics arrived. Meantime, Hilliard Police announced today they're offering a $1,000 reward for information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person who did this, someone driving a gray car. So we just ask anybody if they, they know about a, a gray car with front-end damage, even minor, that uh, we would encourage them to call us. Kim says she can't understand how someone could hit somebody and then just drive away. She's just glad she was in the right place at the right time. I don't know that I call myself a hero. I call myself just a normal person that, you know, does what they're supposed to do in situations like that. Now, I talked to Brad's wife today. She says Brad's been home recuperating since last Friday. She says he's about 80% back to normal health, but is still going through therapy. She is especially thankful to Kim Wise, who helped Brad that day, of course, and also thankful to all those coming out for this Road to Recovery fundraiser here at the BW3s on Bethel Road tonight. It again, it started at 6 o'clock, and it's running till 9 o'clock tonight. Reporting live on the northwest side of Columbus, Chuck Strickler, 10 TV News. Thanks, Chuck. And if you have any information that could help this investigation, call the Hilliard Police tip line. Here's the number, 614-876-2429, 876-2429. We'll repeat that number later in the newscast. Kristen. New